Hi, this is Mrs. Ackerman, and I'm here today to teach you about how to download a code that you write in the ModKit for VEX app onto your robot chassis. So, to get started, you should definitely have watched my video called Say Hello that's about how to write um, a simple program and configure a program on the ModKit for VEX app. Once you've watched that video and you've got your, pro your Say Hello program pulled up and ready, you obviously will need to have your robot chassis. This is um, a chassis that my students built in the last day or two, and I have all of my robots in my classroom numbered, so this is robot number seven. And uh, I did that where I, I numbered the robot brains and I numbered the robot batteries um, just to help uh, keep things, keep track of things. Nothing else is numbered. It's just the brain and the battery. And I also number the remote control. So um, here I've got my robot brain. I'm going to turn the robot brain on. And what I need to do is I need to find out the robot's ID number. The ID number is what I'm going to link to my app to make sure that uh, there's a connection that happens. I also need to make sure that I have my Bluetooth radio in my robot, and I need to make sure that on the iPad, the Bluetooth is turned on in settings. So when you turn the robot brain on, you, oh, this is hard to see, sorry, it's hard to see, oh, hang on, there might be too much of a glare, people, well, we'll do our best. Well, anyway, you see the driver control settings, I think, screen comes up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually press the X and you should see something that comes up that says system info and you're going to press the check mark on system info and then your robot ID will pop up. There it is. And the ID is a six digit number that you need to put into your mod kit for VEX app. So what we do here is we click VEX IQ up in the top left corner and we're going to click add brain. We want to add a brain. There. So you can give your robot a name. I'm going to ro name my robot seven because it's number seven. And then you put the ID number into that box there. So this is three seven zero two two three. And once you've done that, you click add robot. And once you've added the robot, you have to also connect the robot. So click the drop down on the Vex IQ screen again and Find the robot that you created. See, do you see seven is there? I actually have several robots connected on mine, but I'm going to click on that seven that I named my robot. And it says seven connected. Hooray! That's how you know you're connected. You'll see a little, this thing will pop up here. It's not there for very long, so watch out, but it'll pop up and it'll say robot connected. So now, my robot is connected and I can download code onto my robot's brain. So I have my say hello program already pulled up here. So I press the download button, which is the little arrow pointing down. I've got it that it's going into slot one. So press download. It will say programming. See that? Programming. Programming. Okay. So it's there. And now, here in my robot brain, I have the Say Hello program. Yay, it's there. And if I want to run it to start it, I just press the check mark. And it says hello. And that's it. So that's my that's the Say Hello program. That's the download, how to download onto your I um download your code from your iPad to the robot brain. Thank you for watching and I will continue working on this series of videos that I hope will 
help all of you be fearless as you teach Project Lead the Way. Thanks. Bye.